Basically, you're going to get really horny. That's a quote about these chocolates that are supposed to have aphrodisiac properties. For just a dollar each, they're described as full of aphrodisiac herbs to boost arousal and sensitivity and designed to enhance libido. But do they actually work? Aphrodisiacs are food or drinks set to increase sexual desire. Some say they work wonders, but others say it's just a placebo. Some foods actually can increase sexual arousal, function, or both, according to Dr. Brian Quaglay, a PhD-level food scientist and author of 150 Food Science Questions Answered. It all depends on ingredients, concentration of said ingredients, and dosage. There's limited research on the effectiveness of these substances in increasing libido. However, the placebo effect can be strong. Lover sex chocolates contain 17 herbal ingredients that are listed anyway. Ginseng, guarana, damiana, salt palmetto, humbine, fenugreek, kola nut, valerian, licorice, sarsaparilla, goji tang, gochu cola, ginger, betel nut, donkey, passionflower, and avana sativa. Ginseng, for example, can help relax and increase blood flow in a similar way that the erectile dysfunction drug Viagra works. But unlike Viagra, researchers found that ginseng doesn't help with dysfunction any more than a placebo. So while these sex chocolates probably work about as well as any other placebo aphrodisiac, we wanted to know not only do they work, but how do they taste? Should I mention that it's... So do not consume more than one every three hours and no more than four in a 24 hour period. So here we go. It kind of tastes like taffy. It's very chewy. I would say a five out of 10. I think if people like banana flavored, they might like that more. I think this is birthday cake or birthday sex. Also looks the exact same. It tastes like cake icing. It has this like very chewy um, consistency, which is good, but like not, I don't know, not very sexy. I would say on a taste scale, I'll say seven out of 10 for this one. Still zero out of 10 for arousal. I am not at all horny. Okay. Next we have sea salt caramel. Ooh, this one has salt on top. All right. I can't taste any of the herbs. It's just, it's very, all of them are chewy and I feel like it's stuck on my teeth. So I feel like if I were in bed, I would like wanna brush my teeth. This one like actually, it does taste like sea salt and caramel. The texture is really getting to me though. I would say this is my favorite so far. Probably eight out of 10 in terms of flavor. Uh, zero out of 10 for arousal. I, no, I'm, I'm arguably less horny than when I came in. According to Lay, with 17 different ingredients, it's hard to determine if enough has been added to cause any effect. Also, the placebo effect is real. If you're already getting hot and heavy with your partner, will you know if the chocolates worked or if they worked because you wanted them to? Then again, does it matter? If you're rushing from makeout to penetration in a short time, sex may feel unsatisfying even if you are horny. Aphrodisiacs are not. Waiting for the chocolates to take effect while engaging in foreplay may result in better sex, not because of the chocolates, but because you're taking your time to get fully aroused. But it's best to keep in mind that aphrodisiacs aren't a magic bullet. If you have erectile or any other sexual dysfunction, your best bet is to see a medical professional. Chances are, birthday flavored sex chocolates aren't enough. 